Huh. Very interesting. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is September 12, 2017. My outing number 113 of this year. As I promised you guys in the previous video here on the channel, I am at a whole new creek and we are going to do some exploring today. I am in Delaware County today. The, I think the name of this place is Ridley Creek. And uh, as far as I know, and I Googled on the internet, they actually stock this creek with trout during the springtime, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. But we are exploring a portion of the creek today that is more on the on the wild side okay the ridley creek state park is about three miles upstream from there and that's where they stock the trout so down here i'm not exactly sure what we're going to find you know i will be exploring the portion of the ridley creek today around the media area in delaware county so i'm pretty excited about it you know i mean you never know maybe they stock some of the trout and some of the trout got washed down due to the rain right maybe we're going to find some fun species in this creek today or maybe we're not going to find anything at all you know this area that i am at right now looks pretty dead i haven't seen a single fish bigger than four inches so Today's video is all up in the air, you know, but I will be uh, walking around exploring. We got six hours of fishing to do today. So I got to tie some night crawlers on and I mean, we will see what we'll catch. Stay tuned. You know what? Before we start moving, I'm going to do some fishing over here, folks. I think I'm going to switch to a smaller hook. I actually see a small population of daughters over here. Tessellated daughters, you know, they are very, very small but they're just crawling around these rocks over here. So let's do some micro fishing first. And then if it doesn't work out, you know, see there's one daughter just hopping here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not. See, they're just hopping around. Look at that. Very small creatures just hopping, hopping. So I'll do some micro fishing first. And then if it doesn't work, then we're gonna start walking and doing some, do some regular fishing. Oh, I got him. No, I lost it. Oh, I got him. No, I lost it. Ah, damn daughter. Eat it, eat it. Oh, I got him. No, I lost it again. Damn daughter. Oh, I got him. I got him. No! Oh, damn daughter! Oh, I am so frustrated right now. I just spent one hour over here, right at this spot, trying to catch a daughter for you guys on video, you know, because I got my photo tank with me today. But sadly, it didn't happen, you know? A lot of folks tell me microfishing is easy, Man, I am so frustrated right now. It's not easy, you know. 60 minutes trying to catch one little tessellated daughter, right? And it didn't happen. I lost eight of them on the on the Tanago owner hooks. And those were like the bigger sizes for this portion of the creek. So all the rest, they are pretty small, you know. I can't really hook them right now. Whew, that means that for the rest of this video, I will have to vent my Asian anger on some other of species of fish out there, you know? So I'm gonna change back to the size 10 hook and finally, we're going to start walking down the creek, seeing, you know, take a look what is around here. Let's do that. I just got my setup, good to go. So we are ready for our adventure today. This is where it starts. And I mean, the game plan for today is actually rather simple. We are exploring a new creek. So the game plan is the same as always. We're just going to wade around and try to find deeper pockets of water that can sustain fish. Anywhere that I believe it is going to be deep enough to hold fish, those are the places where I'm going to be casting at, right? Deep holes current seams i mean you name it right this is how creek fishing goes we gotta leave the unproductive shallow spots away 
and we're just gonna just explore and see what we can catch, you know? I don't know what the species are around this area, so I tied on a little size 10 hook with a piece of night crawler. This is gonna be our bait and setup for the day. Four pounds uh, casking fluorocoat right on my ultralight setup, Daiwa Ispimatic with the Shimano Sedona 500 FD, the old model. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to find some cool stuff to show you guys. Fish on. What we got here? Finally got a bite. Oh, you be kidding me? First species of the day is a little large mouth bass. Okay, this is definitely not something that I was expecting. You know, I really thought that the first species for today was going to be like a sunfish, right? Little red breast or something, but no, check this out. Little large mouth bass. All right, uh, first species of the day. Very, very odd, man. Haven't seen a single sight of a panfish here, but the first species, a little bass. Oh, look at that, another one. Is this another little bass? Another little largemouth bass, look at this. This is interesting now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that, see, that's what he say. People say there is no spotted bass, right, around here. See, this guy's got the little toothy patch, man. I, I kid you not. Yeah, that's the that's little toothy patch right there, the little black mark. Mouth doesn't extend past the eye. But people say, hey, Leo, there is no spotted bass around here, right? I don't know, you know? I would just take it as a large mouth. But there we go, second fish of the day. Oh, fish on. What? It's another bass. A little bit bigger this time too. What is going on here? Taconi Creek, I mean the other day we went to the Taconi Creek. I caught everything but bass. Today here, apparently, there's a school of uh, of bass over here. Stunted. <laughs> this is so odd, man. So freaking odd. This is really, really odd. Fish on. I'm not a largey. I'm not a large mouth bass. A little bit bigger than the one before too. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is some weird stuff going on right here. There's a school of largies in front of me. And they're hungry. I mean, they're attacking the night crawler, you know? They are hungry. Stunted though. Really weird stuff. Fish on. Whoa, what is this? Oh wow, it's fighting good. Dude, this is not a bass. It's fighting actually pretty decent. Oh, it's a big red breast. Holy, <gasps> dude, that's a big red breast sunfish. Damn, son. Four pound test ultralight pulling this good right here. Gee, look at this, second species of the day. Damn, dude, this is a big red breast sunfish, okay? This is a nice one, man. Look at the size of that mouth. Look at those lips, man. Don't you want to kiss the fish? Wow, this is a fine specimen right here, my friends. I'm happy and sad about this, you know? Happy that we found some red breast sunfish here. Sad that this is like the biggest red breast, right, that I caught here. First one here, and it's like bigger. <laughs> Bigger than all the ones that I caught yesterday at the Wissahickon. Fish on. Fish on. What we got? Oh yeah. It's a nice, nice panfish. Wow, apparently Ridley has got... Whoa! Third species of the day! It's a pumpkin seed! Look at that! Wow, this is beautiful, man. Great find. There are pumpkin seed at Ridley Creek. This is definitely a beautiful, beautiful sample. And I would like to point out, this is one of the most beautiful pumpkin seed that I have seen in a while. You guys notice this orange right here on the soft dorsal fin? It is truly, truly gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. Wow, this is a beautiful fish.
fish out what we got here. What is this? Oh, another red breast. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another little red breast sunfish. Okay, all right, red breast. We already got you today. We actually already got your great grandfather. So, hey, you can go. So I've been fishing for a little while now and I think, I believe that I saw a trout swimming right around this area. I'm not sure if it was a trout or a bass, but it was something long that looked pretty nice. So I thought, ah, why not give my Johnson minnow spin another try, yeah? another chance, right? I mean, my Johnson is just so irresistible. This fish are gonna bite on it, right? So let's roll with it for a little bit. Oh, fish on. This is something nice. This is something nice. On the Johnson. Hit on the Johnson. What is it? Oh, gee. Something nice. It's just a big ass red breast. A big one, too. Wow. Jumbo, man. You couldn't resist my Johnson, could you? Son, look at that jumbo red breast. Damn, man. For a moment, I thought it was like a nice molly or something. All right, man, I'll take it, you know, red breast this size. I'll take it any day. What for waiting is that? Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. Red breast? I think so, red breast. Yeah? Wow, dude. There's some big red breast here, man. Holy moly. Oh, look at that. Little largemouth bass. Follow the red breast up. Okay, you guys didn't see it. I, I, oh, I have the polarized, so I can see it, but there's a largey is swimming right around this red breast under the water here. But uh, anyways, all right, let me unhook it. This is a nice red breast, man. There's some, there some nice red breast in Ridley Creek. Gotta tell you that much. But uh, so far, no signs of trout. Um, this place is getting very sketchy for waiting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am uh, pretty much hip high right now. And my policy for waiting is that if I don't see bottom, I don't go further, you know? So right now, I am on sandy substract. This, this, it's not rocks, it's muddy here, you know? So I don't know when I will walk out there and kind of sink. I don't want to risk that. And it's getting deeper over here, which is why I'm catching fish on the spinner. And it's a good area for fishing but I definitely don't want to risk my life over something stupid such as wading a creek, right? So, uh, I mean, I'm using polarized glasses and I can't see anything down there other than these rocks right here, right? I know it's get, it, it, it gets deep over there, you know what I'm saying? So I may give a few more casts and I think I'm gonna turn back and start walking upstream. Oh, fish on, on the drop. Damn, son. Whoa, what is that? It jumped, it jumped. Folks, what is this? It jumped, is it, is it a bass, is it a trout? Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. Ah, oh, got me so excited. I thought it was going to be a trout, man. But no, it's just a little bass, okay. Little bass jumped as soon as the, oh, it's a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, yeah okay, a little bit big. <laughs> oh, man, you like my Johnson, don't you? Oh, look at your face, I know all about it. But yeah, uh, don't worry, I gotta let you go. Man, I was getting excited, maybe a trout, you know, give a jump out there. It's just a bass. Yeah. <laughs> so I tried going through the sides over here, through the right side and through the left side, through the other side, and uh, it didn't work out. You know, very muddy on the sides. I almost got stuck. And then in the center, you have the drop off, right, which gets gets this place deep so unfortunately I can't go downstream from over here waiting I could go on top of the bank here and just you know walk past this area and go back into the creek but I don't know if you guys can see it or not it's not that easy to get on the bank you know and even if I do I gotta walk through jungle because it's all forest in there there are no roads you know what I'm saying so instead of going downstream now I just gotta take my Johnson and we're gonna start walking upstream to where we started this adventure and we're gonna start fishing upstream who knows I mean maybe on the other side of the creek upstream 
there are some other species of fish, right? Let's stay positive. You see, on my way back, it's much, much easier to wade, right? Because as you guys can see, there's a little trail. Look, this is the trail that I did here, right? When I was walking down. So I can just follow this trail with my polarized glasses and I know that it is safe to step. I'm not gonna sink in the mud, you know what I'm saying? Whoo, check this out. So I came back to our initial location and I guess I didn't pay a lot of attention when I was here at the beginning, but I just found this huge, huge school of uh, some type of minnows here. So I'm gonna do some micro fishing right now. Holy cow, so look, they're all around here. No way, I gotta catch at least one to find out what the heck these are. Oh my God, all the way over there. All right, let's get to work. Got it. Instant, instant hit here. So easy, size 24 hook. Let's see what we got here. Oh, is this a swallowtail shiner? I believe so. So check this out, huh? yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a swallowtail shiner. So they may be all swallowtail shiner down there. Well, let me just make sure. So after taking a closer look at our little fella here, I am pretty sure this is a swallowtail shiner and a beautiful one at it. So, you know, the Notropis Procne. Now my main question is, are all of these a swallowtail shiner? That's the main question, right? There's like tons of them. I just got one of those big shiners down there. I don't know how well you guys can see. There's like a whole school of them down there. Check this out, huh? Beautiful, huh? This is definitely not a swallowtail shiner, by the way. This is what is called a spot fin shiner. As you can see, the markings on the side of the body is much weaker, right? But it's still got the little black dot there right at the tail. So definitely a very beautiful specimen that we got here and another species for today on the Nightcrawler. Okay, little guy, it's time for you to go. Little spot tail shiner, huh? Who would have thought? Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I got it. I got it. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I got it. In the tank, it's in the tank. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> of God it took me one hour and 30 minutes total to get a little darker for you guys you guys have no idea you legit need to put the freaking hook in front of this beast's mouth to eat man and its mouth is so small look at that you guys see that's the little tessellated darter over here let me give you guys a better view Look at that, huh? Look how small the tessellated daughter is. This is no joke. Look how small this fella is. I'm gonna turn the tank a little bit. You guys can get a better view from this side. This is how small this fish is. So you see why I was having trouble catching it? It is really, really tough to catch one of these, but finally, we did it! Okay, little fella, it's time for you to go back in the creek. That's right, I'm releasing you. <laughs> it took me a long time to catch this little fella. Look how small he is. Tessellated daughter, you know? But it was all worth it. It was all worth it. Look how small this dude is. Oh my God, and he likes to stay around rocky areas, go into the cracks of the rocks. Look, he just stays still, just like that. That's what they like to do. You can barely see it. You see what I'm saying here? Whoa, and see, it's gone, just like that. R look, it's over there now. You see that? Gone. They hop like freaking frogs, man. Now that we are finally done with the pesky daughters right over here, we can finally go back to exploring the creek. We gotta start walking upstream. 
from our initial position just for a little bit see if there are any different species of fish up there okay i got him what is that whoa, whoa, whoa what is this whoa wait a moment what the heck is this oh it's another species for today it's the fall fish the semotilus corporalis now this is a beauty a lot of people confuse this species of fish with the creek chub which is, they are not creek chub you know they are in the same genus you know semotilus but they are a whole different species yeah the fall fish check this out the guggen squad <laughs> misidentified the fall fish just recently too in their series all silvery a little bit of an olive color that's definitely a beautiful fish here and definitely a nice find here in ridley creek now the fall fish is actually a very sensitive species of fish so i hope this guy doesn't die on us you know i just took a quick a few quick shots with him but i don't know they are very very sensitive so let's see let's see hopefully won't die on us are you all right buddy oh no come on you can do it you can do it you can do it you can do it they are very sensitive you know he stay outside of the water for less than a minute just for two shots cannot believe this come on come on buddy come on you can do it you can do it yes you can do it yes go Woo. okay i think he's going to be okay he's not floating Wow, but that scared me a little bit. Oh, fish on. It's another fall fish? Wow, I think it's another fall fish. Check this out, huh? not one, but two fall fish. So beautiful, wow. They are truly, truly gorgeous fish, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right, all right, let's unhook this one in the water because you know they're so sensitive i definitely don't want it to die all right all right come on yeah good to go holy moly i wasn't running the camera but this is a different species we landed another species from the same place that the fall fish came from look at this a common shiner the luxilus cornutus beautiful 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 shades of red on it we gotta take a few shots now and we're gonna release this guy all right it is time for us to release our common shiner check this out huh? how beautiful it is it's got red all over its fins luxilus cornutus this right here my friends is a beauty it's one of my favorite shiners ever so beautiful look under the water you, you guys see this so pretty isn't it all right little guy time for you to go that's a great find for this creek right here. Fish on. What we got here? Is it another common shiner? What is this now? What the heck are these? I think it's another common shiner. This is crazy. We got two fall fish. We got two fall fish and two common shiner from the same spot isn't it interesting how these fish is cool up this is a beautiful beautiful one too nowhere else in the creek we found these suddenly i come here to this one specific spot and then boom they're all around that is pretty crazy what is this whoa whoa whoa, whoa. easy easy what is this this is something different oh this is definitely something different i don't know if i have the species yet holy moly where's my photo tank Let, let's get the photo tank ready here boys i don't know if i have that species yet that is definitely something different this is unlike so, the stuff that i usually see here all right let's put in the photo tank what is this dude i don't know do we have this this looks too long to be a spot tail shiner this looks too long to be a spot tail shiner but it oh but it does have a spot on its tail though 
I don't know. That does, this doesn't look like a spot tail shiner at all. I am almost positive this is a species number 187 for me. But as for now, I really, really have no idea what this is. I mean, I talked to my friend Pat. This is definitely not a spot tail shiner, you know. I talked to my friend Pat just now. He said it could be a commonly shiner which they do have it in this creek you know or a rosy face shiner which i never heard about it is not really in the research papers of the ridley creek now the cool thing about this fish is that as soon as you take it out of the tank i just want to show you guys you you can barely see the black dot on the tail you see that let me put it back i put it back and you guys take a look you look at the tail there's a black dot right there you see that there's a black dot on the tail right you take it out there's no black dot anymore. I swear to you, look at this. So this is our mystery fish for today. If you know what fish is this, look, there's some black markings here, right? Right on the soft dorsal, I mean, on the anal fin. I definitely gonna Google it up later and do some research. I'm pretty confident this is a commonly shiner, but I am not sure yet. If you guys know what this is, help me out in the comment section below. This is a beautiful fish. Ooh, look at that, it shines. It shines like rainbow color under there in blue. So anyways, let me know in the comment section below. This may be a new species for me right over there. Action finally died down here, you know guys, but I gotta tell you, I still cannot believe how many fish I caught from this one pool over here, you know? This is pretty this is pretty crazy. Look, another one. So many common shiner. Some fall fish and our mystery fish, but mostly common shiner, you know? I've been landing them one after the other here, just on a small piece of night crawler. Like, I don't know. They're just always stacked here, you know? So this is pretty nuts. I've been fishing here for about 10 minutes and we gotta start moving really, really soon. We need oh I got another bite. We still need to go upstream and see if there are some other species of fish. But I gotta tell you, so far, we have done a great job here at Ridley Creek, guys. I mean, so many species in one day, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm just, whew, another common shiner, you know? This is pretty, pretty crazy, but all right, let's keep fishing. Huh, there's some shiners even in the current. That's pretty interesting. I got him, whatever it is. What is that? Is that a... What is this? Wait a moment. Whoa! Whoa! Easy! Easy, Leo! What is this? Ouch! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Trunk, trunk, trunk! What is this? Dude, this is something that I don't have yet. This is a new... This is another new species for me! What is going on here today? What is this? Let's, let's analyze it. What the heck is this creature here? Let's put it in the photo tank. Oh, I got it. It's a cut lips minnow. Uh, yeah, you see how the lip is cut down here? This is a new species for me. 188 cut lips minnow. Look at the little beast there, huh? I am not entirely positive yet what this is but I am almost positive it is what they call a cut lips minnow a new species for me for sure I don't know how rare they are around here either you know I mean <laughs> this is the first time that I see one around my area I don't know if they are native man I need to google it up you know but this I tell you is a beautiful beautiful fish for sure Hey, easy, easy, buddy. Look at that, huh? It's under the rock now. Huh. What we got here? Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, man. I thought it was a sunfish, you know? Look at the size of this little creature, man. We started walking upstream, you know. These are the beasts that we find around here. Oh, man, here. Flair would be happy to see you. Go. Oh, dude. Okay. 
this is some uh this is some resident evil creepy stuff right here man jeez louise man i don't know about that oh look at that little discharge here little pipe fish on i knew it i mean i just know whoa strong strong all right all right take it take your time dude take oh that's right it's a little bass man oh it's a, it's a decent bass here you know discharge discharge bass right here when you see water like this coming into the creek you just know there's gotta be at least one you know stupid largemouth bass around right look at that just waiting for something to flow right into right into its mouth right oh wow now this is something that you don't see every day huh even i don't see it every day interesting i think it's the railroad up there man that's the cool thing about exploring you know you get to see all these uh interesting structures here now you know what is the cool thing about waiting guys it is that you really get to see spots i mean you get to see in fish spots that usually folks can't don't really have access to because this side over here is fenced it is private okay and you guys can't really see but this side over here is also fenced so both sides of the ridley creek right now are private you know all right this is a really really odd place i mean you got this beautiful dam over here you know that you would think it is productive there's like it's not even deep over there and then over here there's a little discharge on the left side but same thing it's not deep on the right side so i mean i don't know how much further i'm gonna go upstream you know i gotta fish only for a little bit more there's a set of stairs here that says private property like i have no idea what it is here on the left side i gotta fish for a little bit more and then uh, call it a day whoa i thought it was a red breast turns out it is a pumpkin seed look at that huh wow this is a beautiful pumpkin seed too gotta say man this creek has got some amazing pumpkin seeds that's for sure interesting all right well, let's release this guy okay he just decided to go back by itself what the heck is it another pumpkin seed dude what is going on here it's another pumpkin seed it, it's even a more beautiful one dude oh my god look at the colors on this pumpkin seed this is crazy beautiful pumpkin seed right here all right all right easy i'm gonna release you don't worry about it time for you to go little fella beautiful beautiful pumpkin seed here wow damn son fish on is it a bass i think it's a bass little largy wow this is a beautiful beautiful little large man this fish from this creek i mean you know size wise but they're, they're they're beautiful right look at that truly gorgeous gorgeous fish man maybe something to do with the water clarity here you know yo what the heck is going on over here i'm hearing quite a quite a loud noise coming from up here let's investigate there's a really loud noise on the left side here wow look at this now this my friends is beautiful who would think that there's something like this around here huh and i think this is precisely where i am going to end my journey i'm just gonna cast around here a few times see if there's any fish but you know if there's nothing we just gotta call it a day wow holy cow dude i just found a nice spot to fish at fish on fish on what is this 
Look at that, another species for today. This is our first bluegill of the day. It's a nice bluegill too. Now for this bluegill to have gotten here, it probably came from above the dam. This is pretty cool. All right, let's release our friend over here. Bye bye little bluegill. Okay. This is a very cool, neat little spot, man. And I gotta tell you, you can't really get here, I think, without waiting, you know? There's no access anywhere for this place. So I'm gonna fish here for a little bit more. Hopefully there are some cool fish in this pool right here. Sean. Damn. Holy cow. This is a big red breast. Wow. This is a nice red breast sunfish from the dam. Holy moly. Oh yeah. What we got here? Damn. Damn, dude. Some big red breast. Damn, son. That's a big bluegill with some weird stuff on the side of its body that I am not going to touch. Gee, let me unhook it like this so I don't have to touch this thing here. Whatever that is, you know, you are going back where you belong real soon. Here, go back. Damn, that's a big whatever it is, man. Holy macro, man. It's gonna be the biggest pumpkin seed that I caught in a while. Oh my, oh, dude, this is the, this is officially the big panfish pool, man. I've been pulling jumbo pumpkin seed, jumbo bluegill, jumbo red breast, all from this pool over here. Holy moly, look at this! Jesus! Well, 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 what a good day here on the creek, huh, folks? We are ending up the day with like eight or nine different species of fish. Found myself a cool spot, check this out. Landed some jumbo, bluegill, pumpkin seed, and red breast for just from this spot just now. Not to mention, caught two new species of fish today. Huh? I really, really believe that, that one was a commonly shiner and the other one is a cut lips minnow. So it was a very productive day. I am super, super happy that I finally got a chance to come here to the Ridley Creek and explore. I, I have much more to, expo to explore, of course, but you know, after seven and a half hours today, by the time I wade back to the train station, it's gonna be night time, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. And as always, tight lines and take it easy.